I've lost over a thousand subscribers in this last month and a half. I went from living my best life to not living my best life at all and to really just like sinking down. I'm just not here to be this piece of candy. For the guys who used to come to see me flaunting my body, get off this channel and goodbye because I don't want you here. All I know is that I have a heart full of love and I'm really working on just coming back to myself and I'm gonna share what I'm gonna share. I'm not here for views. I'm not here to entertain. I'm not here to make money. If it comes, then it comes. But those aren't my intentions, so my authenticity is number one. Showing up authentically and truthfully, honestly, is my number one. Is this thing focused? No? Oh. Oh, there we go. Sweet spot. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. My name is Jasmine, and today's video is just going to be a little bit of a chit-chat. I've got some tea here. It's rather hot, but really good. Today was a video that I just wanted to make to address some certain things. I don't know, as a human being, it's it's kind of interesting when people say, you've changed. It's like, well, yeah, I'm not just like this one thing. So this isn't gonna be a long video. I just kind of wanted to express some feelings I had towards a handful of recent comments, not so much on my YouTube videos, but people who have been sliding in my DMs. If you're new here and this is the first video that you've clicked on, I've been posting videos for about five years now, off and on, mostly on, and then I took a little bit of time off in between, and that's why there's such a drastic difference in my audience now, and I just wanted to kind of give you an insight into my mind, where I'm at in life, and just to give you a better perspective as to where I stand, what I'm wanting to create, why things have shifted the way that they have. So. Let's get all into that. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for being here with me. Maybe get a drink or a snack. Like I said, this isn't gonna be long, but let's have some tea time. When you make the decision to post your life online, I feel like there's a little bit of a responsibility to show up authentically. And this is just my opinion because of course there's people who post videos for entertainment purposes, um, trolling purposes, spilling tea, whatever it may be, but I'm just gonna be speaking from my own perspective, what my intentions have always been with this channel and kind of how the direction is shifting. Not a whole lot, but um, also over the years, just how I have progressed to come to where I'm at today. So I started this YouTube channel five years ago. I was roughly about like 19-ish. I'm 24 years old, turning 25 this year. A lot has changed since then, of course, a lot has changed. Early 20s to mid 20s is a huge difference and yes, I am still young. Also not that young though. Regardless, to look at where you were at the beginning of your 20s is a huge difference as to when you get to your mid 20s. Maybe not for some people, um, but for most people, you know, we change, we evolve, right? So let's rewind and just bring it back to where we started what my intentions were starting this channel. My intentions were to simply share my opinions, share my experiences and my views that I've had in life that can help people along their path. Some of them are just story times, some of them are just vlogs. However, I've always wanted to portray health, taking care of yourself, living life authentically, and really just living and embodying your truth and the divine essence that you are, which is love. Our world needs more light in our lives and all of us have that inside of us, but we've been so dimmed and conditioned that a lot of us are just living mediocre lives. You know, we're playing down who we really are because maybe we've been shamed in the past, we've been put down, a lot of us are hurt, right? So I think that it's a responsibility for people who feel that love in their heart to spread that love and be that reminder to people to come back to yourself, come home to love, you know, come home to love. We are so, we are so far from it that um, it's a huge reason why the world is in the state that it's in today. I talked about veganism, working out, the power of meditation and affirmations, really just like training your mind to be your best friend and be there for you in order to help you grow and succeed. Those are the basics. Now, with that being said, when we hit about 2017, when I came back from Hawaii, on the highest vibe I've ever been, that's when my channel absolutely exploded. I was getting hundreds of subscribers every single day. It's when I started making some money and it's when I started really gaining traction and I went from having only like a few thousand subscribers to over 40,000 subscribers, which was absolutely crazy. Looking back at my analytics, it was just like poof. And then when I came back from Hawaii, I moved to Lake Louise. 
Now my intentions moving there were so pure. I wanted to be in the mountains. I was sober at the time. I was living my best life. I was literally feeling the best that I've ever felt. It was just so in my body and so in my own essence and my home frequency that I felt better than I've ever felt. And then I moved to Lake Louise <laughs> and um, I continued on this high for about six months and then I've made a, a video going way more into depth on my experience and I'll link that down below in case you're interested. It is a long one but it gives you more in-depth detail as to the, the progress um, of all of this but I'm gonna keep it brief in this video because I don't want this to go on too long but just to paint a picture in your mind. So I was doing the best that I've ever done, right? It was posting videos, living life so authentically, embodying my truth to the highest degree, which made me feel like a fuck yes, let's share this, let's go. Like I have so much love and light that I wanna spread and that's what I was doing. So then about six months into living in Lake Louise, if any of you guys don't know, um, the energy in that mountain town is very toxic. It is a lot of partying. A lot of people from overseas, different countries on visas, just here to like party, have a good time, snowboard, hike, whatever. And I totally went down the wrong path. You know, I started drinking again. Um, I started drinking a lot. I started smoking cigarettes again. I started smoking pot again. I just started all of the things again. And with that being said, I stepped completely out of alignment with who I am as a person. And because my channel was rooted on authenticity and embodying your truth, respecting yourself, respecting others, and just growing and evolving, because I completely went the opposite way, I could not come online and share my life because I just wasn't me, you know, I wasn't me. And I wasn't gonna continue posting videos for the sake of posting videos, keeping my views up, keeping the money coming in because that was never my intention starting this channel. I never intended for this to be a business. I always had it as a hobby, something I just love doing. Two years went by where I was just like, waving in and out of who I really was and then being this lesser version of myself to fit into the people around me and it was just this like really crazy experience and roller coaster and again I go way more into depth in that other video that I mentioned but there's no point in going into detail here the point that I want to share is that I went from living my best life to not living my best life at all and to really just like sinking down and making bad decisions, not coming from a place of love. I hurt a lot of people and I wasn't treating myself with care. So I didn't feel proud to put myself online and share my life with you when I wasn't proud of it. If you've been watching me for a while, you know me as this super energetic, high vibing, like kind of weird, crazy person, right? Like if you look at my videos from years ago when I was like 20 years old, oh my God, my energy was just like, and I was just like a super weird person, you know? And the funny thing is, is a lot of people thought I was putting on an act. A lot of people thought that I was like being this character and I didn't like have that kind of energy or, or I wasn't that weird and I was just playing it up. When in reality, that is exactly who I was at that time. I was this super weird, quirky, loud person. That's just, that's who I was genuinely. Anyone in my life knows that, who knows me personally at that point in my life that is who I was. It would be exhausting to keep that going if that wasn't who I was, you know? Like, I don't know how someone could fake energy like that. And now, um, a lot of people have been sliding into my DMs saying, what's wrong with you? You have such a beautiful face and a beautiful body. Now, take into consideration, these aren't just, these aren't just men. Like, these are women who've said, I've been following you for a while. Like, what's happened to you? Your views have gone down. You're weird. You're just like not the person that you were. And when I read these things, I'm just like, dude, I'm just human, you know? And I am not this person that's here to entertain you and fit the box of who you think I am. I'm a human being who's constantly growing and evolving and learning about myself and making mistakes and then living on a really high vibration and then sometimes not. You know, and my energy is not the same as it used to be. I'm happy and I'm on a path of rediscovering who I am and what makes me happy and what fulfills me and trying to get an idea of what kind of platform I want to build. And that takes time, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be the same person all the time. And you, you feel like that should be obvious, um, but 
for some people, I think that they see you online as a certain person and then all of a sudden that's your identity. You know, you're now in a box, this is who you are, and if you go outside of it, it's like, what's wrong with you? What happened to you? Like, you're not the same. It's like, well, of course I'm not the same person. I am human, you know? So I am in my mid 20s. I'm trying to figure out what I want, and I know that I want to create a platform of positivity and to share my experiences, my growth, my expansion, my forever ongoing evolving process of being human and coming back home to myself and that is going to go through so many different waves and it's going to for everybody else too we're never going to stay the same we might stay similar and have similar traits but we'll always be growing and i am not here to again entertain you i am not here to do this as a job I, I share the things that i feel i want to share in my heart and i'm wanting to shift this platform i'm wanting to create a stable foundation of really awesome people who are here to be a part of my journey and support me and vice versa i am not doing this as a business tactic or wanting to post things to get views. That's why if you see my views compared to then to now, they're dramatic and also take into consideration my highest point was when I was living in Hawaii, you know, I was running around naked on beaches and I was very like, I flaunted my body a lot and a lot of people may have thought that I did that for views or I intentionally was like, oh, I'm gonna do this to like get views and attention, but genuinely that's not how it was and a lot of people may not believe me and that's okay, but also, it's hard to understand if you've never lived in the kind of community that I lived in at that time. Living in Hawaii, living in a place where everyone was so free and open and not judgmental and being at a beach naked was not something that you would like second look at. Like this Western world, especially the male mentality for the majority is disgusting and it's very over sexualized and it's very, very unhealthy, it's very toxic, very unhealthy. And I wasn't living in that world, that's why it was just like two different worlds for me where I was living in that world in that mentality where all of that was like okay and then I put myself online and I'm being perceived by thousands and thousands of people who are just living a completely different life than me and it was just kind of like this so I, I never was that person with the intentions to make money get views be this promiscuous person like I was just being myself and I understand that a lot of people could perceive me as that but it just wasn't the case and I was always coming from a pure place of love and genuinity and just being myself and yeah and now it's different you know being back in Canada for three years now and living in this society that I'm living in like I definitely have lessened and in the sense of just like feeling that freedom feeling that openness because I feel like I've been a little bit conditioned again and like Regardless, I am just me trying to love myself and trying to help others along their journey by sharing some things in my life that maybe I think could help a person or two. So that's all I wanted to say for that. I'm going to be forever growing and changing and I'm just not here to entertain people and be this piece of candy. Like for the guys who used to come to see me flaunting my body or want to see whatever for whatever gross reason, like get off this channel and goodbye because I don't want you here. I want the people here that are going to support my journey, hear what I have to say and just be an awesome human. That's all. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. I am just me. <laughs> I don't know what a lot of these people think I am, but I'm just me on my life path and figuring it out as I go. So thank you for listening if you're still here. And um, yeah, I'm excited to see what comes. This crazy life is very unexpected and unknown. All I know is that I have a heart full of love and I'm really working on just coming back to myself and I'm gonna share what I'm gonna share. Showing up authentically and truthfully, honestly, is my number one. So if I can't do that because I'm going through a rough time, I'm gonna not post, you know, which is what happened, which is why so much of my viewers just disappeared. I've lost over a thousand subscribers in this last month and a half. And I'm just like, you know what, let's go, weed them out. I don't care to have thousands upon thousands of subscribers. I would rather have a couple hundred or a couple thousand that are just like solid OGs 
you know, where we're just like living life together. I'm sharing my life. You're receiving this give and take kind of flow. Uh, that's, that's all that I want. So thanks for listening and uh, I'll see you when I see you.